Hi, in this Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create columns inside of your document. In this example, if I scroll down in my document, what I wanted was right inside of here, all of this text highlighted. Instead of having one column, what I would like to do is have these displayed in three columns. So I'm going to show you how easy that is to pull off. While you have that text selected, what you can do is go up underneath layout right here and then click on the word columns. Then inside of here, they have a couple different presets. Uh, so by default, everything's always like one big column. You could do uh, two column, three column, they have left and the right. So you could see right here, these little icons, they kind of show you how it's gonna look. So if I go ahead and click three, you're gonna see that that kind of works exactly the way I want. Now what's cool is if you go back and you click on columns again, if you click this button where it says more columns, what that's gonna do is give you this pop-up and then this is gonna give you a lot more like granular control over how your columns are gonna work. So as you can see right here by default, there's this button right here called equal column width. And when you have that on, it's doing exactly what it says. It's gonna give the column width of each one of these, in this situation, 2.32 inches. So if you unclick that, and let's say I go ahead and make the middle column a little bit wider. So you can just go ahead and start clicking this and when you do that, you're going to see that this little thumbnail right here is going to update. So if I go ahead and click OK, now the second column is going to make it wider. And in this situation, it didn't quite work the way you would want because it kind of pushed everything down. So what you could do is always go back into here, select everything just like this, click on the columns, go back in here, and then you could default it back to equal column width. And then they also give you the option if you want to easily add or remove columns, you could just visually do that right here. So you could go pretty high, you know, six columns, whatever it may be. And then they have this little feature right here where it will add a line in between. So the viewer will automatically know that, you know, these are supposed to be columns. So you can go ahead and you can see right there in this situation, there's just enough text to make it look good as like a three column layout. And then for some reason, if you want to go back and get rid of all of the columns, you can just go ahead and click where it says one, and then it's going to go back to the way it was before you, you know, enabled the columns. And so that's how you can do it on selected text. Now, if you just go ahead and click anywhere in your document and click on columns, if you go underneath where it says more columns, they have this button right here where it says apply to this section, this point forward or whole document. So if for some reason you want to just make everything like a two column layout, you know, equal width, you can do that. And when you click okay, it makes your whole document two columns. So depending on your use case, you may want to have two columns, three columns for the whole thing, but uh, you could always in this situation, I'm just going to hit control Z and it's going to go back to the way it was. Or like I said, you can always go back here and then just go back to one column. And one last cool trick is if you go back and make this into a three column layout. So if I go here and just make this like a three column layout, if you go up here underneath view, you want to make sure that your ruler is on. So your ruler is right up here. So you can see when you click inside of each column, it's going to give you this option right here to add custom widths. So let's go ahead and click in the middle column right here. And if you just click and drag this, you could see that you could now visually click and drag how wide you want your ruler. So instead of relying on that pop-up, you can visually, you know, click and move stuff around and, you know, make it, you know, more customizable to your document. And that's it for this video on how to add columns to your Microsoft Word document. Thank you for watching.